Teddy Feinberg, Brooks Stockburger. Uh, it's very, very windy outside. We're deciding to do it here from our studio uh, in the Las Cruces Sun News building. No Come makeup on. No makeup on today, that's true. We never put on makeup. Bro, but I do have my horizontal lines. Standard. I um, think I horizontal lines. I got the button down. <laughs> Vertical. Um, Cruz is high. They are upset today, actually, in the state tournament. This is the big news of the day. Number one ranked team in the state, boys basketball. They fall to number eight ranked Clovis. We knew it was going to be a tricky game. A loss, though, was an upset, obviously. No, it really was. It's one of those things. It's easy to go back afterwards and say, oh, it's possible. Clovis could have beaten them. Sure, sure. But I really didn't see that happening. No. Didn't see that happening this tournament. I thought Cruz was going to at least make it to the final. And it was their tournament to win or lose. And they lost it first day. That's frustrating. All these fans go up north and... Boy, before lunch, they're done. Very disappointing. Um, you know, and, and perhaps making it more disappointing, though, Crucis was up 8 nothing. They were up 29-22 at the half. They had the game won. Um, or at least at that point they did, obviously. Clovis came out and got three straight three-pointers from John Dawson, deep three-pointers, way beyond the line. Tied the game at 31. I felt like that was a very critical part of the game. And, of course, there were a lot of whistles in this basketball game, and their point guard, Joe Garza, was in foul trouble. Garza is such a key point. I mean, Garza, there were games here, Garza played the whole game. I mean, he was such a key yeah. part to that team. To get him in foul trouble, that, that, was, that was a key component. Again, there were a lot of whistles. Um, tough loss. They couldn't keep momentum. They couldn't keep consistency. And then, like you said, with the, the whistles, there's always a lot of whistles at the, at the state tournament. I kind of think it should be the opposite. The officials should a little bit let them play. Set your base consistent. This is what we're going to call. This is what we're not going to call. But I can't tell you how many games I've been up at the pit and just the fouls are just crazy. I think that's they need to let them play a little bit more. Speaking of fouls here, and I'm going to digress for a second, but I would like to get your take on the Onyate basketball situation. They filed a complaint with the NMAA yesterday talking about a game that they perceived to be unfairly officiated at Albuquerque High. Albuquerque High won 59-57. A longtime former sports editor, what are your thoughts? Are you covered state tournament games? You cover yeah. games on the road. I've seen this kind of stuff, especially in the postseason. And again, why it crops up in the postseason, I don't know. You know, I didn't see the game, so it's hard for me to say for sure. The way it was described to me, though, if that's really how it went down exactly, it seemed very ticky-tack. Yeah. to me. Yeah. You know, you could call a tee, but usually you give them a warning first and give them a couple moments, so... I, I do want to say that whatever happened, happened. It wouldn't be the first time that a team may have gotten an advantage on their home court. It won't be the last. That's why you need to have a home playoff game to start things off. Not saying it's right, not saying it's wrong, but that's why you work hard for that home court advantage in the first round. When Yacht, they had it last year, and they beat Hobbs by a lot. But, you know, it's, it was odd. Um, and let's also now move on. I, I do want to say also in terms of state tournament stuff, Santa Teresa is still in it, Mesilla Valley is still in it from a local standpoint. Mayfield girls were eliminated, really not a lot of representation from the South. Aggie basketball, they're kicking off the WAC tournament. Uh, they play Fresno State tomorrow. This is a very winnable game. Yeah, turnaround game. They just beat Fresno State in a fairly close game, and now this is a game they need to win. they they got to not do what Cruces did, lose early. Fresno State, you know, Idaho, both teams that could beat them, knock them off. The Aggies have to avoid looking ahead. I would agree with that. I think if the Aggies just focus on the task at hand, they can beat anyone in front of them. Focus at times has been an issue. Uh, I really like the way the Aggies beat Fresno State the last time. They came back from a 19-point deficit, and then I think with the quick turnaround, that really benefits them. I think Fresno State had them right where they wanted them, and then the Aggies dropped them. Obviously, the Aggies in this tournament, they have to shoot the basketball well. It's not rocket science. We've known that since the get-go. When this team shoots the three-point shot well, particularly in their half-court offense, they become a very tough team to beat. And defensively, create offense with your defense. They need to play well on that end of the floor. I like the Aggies' chances in this tournament. I think the Aggies are going to be uh, be dancing, folks. Yeah, Aggies, Nevada in the final, it sounds like to me. It should be a good one. Folks, thanks for checking us out, as always. Sun News Facebook, Sun News Twitter, lcsun-news.com all day, every day. Have a great day. Yeah.